closet clean out videos to a whole new level because we're gonna be decluttering, cleaning out my closet, and building an entire walk-in closet. Like this whole room that I'm sitting in right now is gonna be a walk-in closet. And you guys probably already saw in the little intro. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, so hopefully it's cute. This is my office right now, but I don't really use it. I just keep it as like PR storage and for like where I put work before I actually do the work. And so I think it'd be perfect to make into a walk-in closet because then I can have PR storage still and clothing storage and I can still have my stuff organized for what I need to work on, but I don't have a desk anyway. So like, I don't need this to be an office. Okay, we'll have to run through it and I'll show you what it looks like now, there's tape on the walls, but we can just ignore that. And then, yeah, eee, I'm so excited. So this is the wall that I'm planning on doing majority of the closet on. Right now, I just have all these storage containers, cat litter, and the most random things. One thing I will have to figure out is how to organize all my hair tools because I have so many. And this is the back wall right now. We'll do a little 360 of the room. It's not very exciting right now. Looks like... <laughs> Not much going on. Here's the vision for this project. I got these bookshelves from Target. I have one in here. I saw this all over TikTok because I got this idea to do like a room transformation, make this into a walk-in closet, and I did a bunch of research and found out I could actually do it for very cheap. So I got these bookshelves from Target and I got five of them. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then one on that wall. I ordered a clothing rack from Amazon for on that wall too. And then I got curtain rods to put on the bookshelf. I'll like go through it all while I'm actually making them, but I'm just so excited. This feels like a two person job, but I'm impatient. So let's attempt to build this. At least I have five, so like, after the first one, I'll know what to do. I have everything all set up behind me how it says to, but none of them are labeled. So now I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know what's what. I guess we're just gonna start and hope that this turns out successful. I'm confused. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We have one successful, and that's actually where that one's gonna be. Here is how it looks. Now we just have five more to build. And then, of course, I'm gonna do the clothing rods right up here. We're back to business, back to bookshelf building. Lighting is much, much better today because I'm starting at 4 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. I don't know how far we'll get today, but the plan is to build as many bookshelves as I can and hopefully Jacob can help with the rods when he gets home, if I can get the bookshelves built but there's four to build and he'll be home in an hour so we'll see i have a feeling it's gonna go a lot smoother today because i did it like yesterday so i don't know how it's gonna go but <laughs> they're still not labeled so that kind of sucks time to build oh my goodness this is a sweaty activity i'm sweating so much but we're almost done with the first one and it's only been like 30 minutes. Proud of myself for that because we have three more after this. Success! We have built another shelf! <laughs> the third big shelf is now built and I'm going to build my little clothing rack that I got in the middle today. the clothing rack behind me. The clothing rack is built. I don't know how well you can see it behind me. I don't know if I'm giving up yet for the day, but I'm gonna take a little break and go watch Jacob ride. So I will talk to you when I get back. Right now we have two shelves left to build, which really won't be that bad. I've already built three of them. And then we have to screw in all the rods, get a hanger still, and actually put together the closets, which will be the fun part. I'm excited about that. All right, it's much later. It's like 10.30, maybe 11 right now and I just finished with everything. I'm so excited. Well, I didn't finish everything, but we have behind me the clothing rack and then all of the little bookshelves that I got. I'm so excited about them. I feel like it looks so good. Tomorrow we're gonna have to do curtain rod in between there. Curtain rods obviously, or not curtain rods, why am I saying that? Clothing rods in all the spots where we're gonna be hanging clothes. And then I have a whole pile of shelves which we'll put wherever we decide to put them. But here is how it's looking. Oh, I'm so excited. I think the best thing to do here would be to put a rod and hang long dresses or something because it's just kind of an awkward 
tiny gap like nothing else would fit in there except for maybe a skinny mirror which is an option but here's how it's looking so far i am so happy that i got everything built i'm so excited I should give you guys a little update. I've been in here this morning working on this. I haven't filmed anything today because I just, I look rough and I want to get ready before I start filming. But I've been working on it so I might as well update you. I put clothing rods in two of them. We have seven clothing rods to put up so I have a lot more. It's been a struggle trying to get these rods up because I like can't maneuver the power tool. What is this called? whatever this is called, impact driver, into the right spot. So I have to like use it and then use this. I don't know, it's confusing. Anyway, I got some of the shelves in too. I don't know if you can see behind me. I'll lower you down. I got shelves in these two, how I want them to be. And then this very far one, which I don't know if you can see right now, like the furthest back one, I'm gonna make it all shelves. So I have to put shelves in that one too. <laughs> except for one, the one that's going to go in between these two bookshelves. I have to really make sure that I do this right or else it could end up looking bad. I don't know. I don't know how I want it to be. Now I just have this whole open space and we do have the option of putting a mirror in here, which could be cute. Jacob suggested adding a shelf here as like a desk situation, but I do think that it's just too small. It would look kind of funky. Once I put holes in, I'm not going to be able to change it. Or we will, I just will have holes in it. I feel like that. Does that look goofy? Actually, I actually feel like, mm, I feel like it kind of looks goofy. What do we think? Oh my goodness, I hope it's not ugly. Next order of business is to make this one just like a standing shelving unit. No uh, rods going on that one. Ta-da! I don't know how much you can see, but this is my little walk-in closet. It's basically fully built. We just have to move stuff in here, and I'm waiting on a rug and a mirror. I'm starting the process of filling the PR shelf, and I think I'm gonna do it by brand and what kind of product it is, you know? Top drawer, the makeup drawer is complete. We're rearranging drawers again. I think I'm gonna make this one really skinny and just put like tanning mitts and random flat stuff on it because most of my tanning bottles won't fit on the one below. Time to tackle the hair bin. I don't know how I want to do this, but I definitely want to take a lot of these hair tools out and put them somewhere else. This is crazy. How do I have this much PR? Started the process of organizing the closet. I'm treating this like a closet clean out. If you're following my TikTok and you saw the videos, you already know. Each thing that I put in the closet, like that category, I'm going through it and finding stuff that you guys can have. So I'll be on my Vinted, and if you place an order on my Vinted for anything, I'll give you a goodie in your package from my little PR shelf because it's absolutely wild how much PR I have. So anyway, here are the things that I'm listing. We have a bunch of these little rompers. This is a long sleeve gray one, long sleeve black one, short sleeve black one that's shorts. This one I'll have to put in a photo, but it's like an open back long yoga pant kind of jumpsuit, pair of shorts, and some gray leggings. They're all in my vintage if you want any of them. I'm very happy with how this is turning out already. I put the bottoms on the bottom and the tops on the top for like my active wear sets and I'm debating if I should just put them together because there's a lot of space in between here but also there's a lot of stuff right now that's like getting washed so it's not in here yet but I think so far it looks really cute with everything I'm so excited I need to get like a cute little bin to put my Pilates socks in I don't find anything cute right now I'm just gonna keep them in this bag and put them on the shelf also I switched it I don't know I, I feel like I'll be moving stuff around the whole time of like building this closet but let me know what you thought looks better this is the pants up top or like bottoms up top I just feel like it looks better because they're all like laying way nicer than the top are because some of the tops have bows and like tie in the back and I don't know the strappy straps I think I want to bring in my jeans now I'm gonna do like 
a TikTok basically with every clothing item and I want to do trends of everything and like decide what to keep and what to get rid of. But I really don't think there's any jeans I would get rid of because I don't have a ton. Here's my jeans slash pant collection. It's not that big of a collection. I saw a trick of how to hang pants. I'm pretty sure it was like this. And then you go through one loop or both loops. It has to be both loops. So I can make it look all nice. Does that look nice? I feel like it looks nicer than it would just hanging down. Jeez, Inerits have been playing in here since I started this whole project. They just love hanging out. Oh, that looks so good. All right, here's how this side's looking. It's like already looking cluttered, but I feel like it's an organized mess. On here is probably gonna be shoes, accessories maybe. And then anything with this hanger for now is gonna be work I have to do because this whole clothing rack eventually will be work to do. And these I just need to find a place for because they don't have belt loops so I can't hang them the same way as the jeans. I feel like it would look goofy if they were next to them but I can just put them in my actual closet. I do have a walk-in closet already so now I have a big walk-in closet and then like a regular size walk-in closet. So not everything's going in here just the things that are going to be cute. Any update before we start bringing more stuff in. I'm thinking about bringing in shoes today. I ordered some more stuff on Amazon. I got these little velvet hanger clips to go on the hangers so that they would all still match and look aesthetically pleasing but then i can hang my shorts like this instead of hanging them over like how i have these ones like that just does not look cute this is so much better i'll link everything down below that i used to build this because so far it's been so cheap like probably around I don't know, less than $400. Oh, I don't know about the end. But all I bought for this are the hangers, the hanger clips, the bookshelves, and the curtain rods. Clothing rods. Oh my goodness, I keep saying curtain rods. Oh, and I bought the um, clothing rack behind me, but it's not necessary, obviously. And I'm getting a rug from TikTok and then hopefully a mirror, or I'm going to bring the mirror in here from another room until I can get a new mirror because I want to get one from TikTok shop. So I'm just waiting to see if... I can get like a sample. If not, then I'll just buy one. But might as well see if I can get it free first, make this even cheaper. Over here, I'm gonna try and fit boots. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging. If I find my other slippers, they're going next to those. Tall boots are going up top. I fear it's already looking very cluttered. I'm thinking of putting skirts here. Hopefully I have enough of these little clippy things that I just bought. I bought 40 of them. So that means I could put 20, 20 hanging things, 20, what are these called? Pants, bottoms, whatever. But I have so many clothes. Actually, I'm so happy with this purchase, like getting these clips for these hangers so that all my hangers can still look the same. Because I figured I'm doing a big fancy DIY walk-in closet. I might as well get the nice hangers. And it was like $23 for 50 packs and I got three 50 packs. So like, that's really not that crazy. I feel, I know that the plastic ones would be a lot cheaper, but like, they're nice. And I like the nice ones. <laughs> so excited for my rug to come. I think it comes on Monday. Right now it's Sunday. Oh my goodness, wait, I think it comes tomorrow. You should definitely follow my TikTok and Instagram though because I'm a lot quicker on those things so you can see things in real time. Like the closet transformation or trips I go on, you know. I feel like that looks really cute. All the dresses are hung. Let me know what we think. Here's how she's looking. I feel like that was a perfect spot for dresses. And then I'm thinking about putting this basket in the bottom because there's actually no bookshelf right there. It's like in between two bookshelves, you know what I mean? So the whole bottom is open. So maybe I'll put this to keep something in it. I had all my hair tools in here, but I tried to consolidate and get rid of some. Now all my hair tools are in the bottom two shelves of the PR closet, or the PR bookshelf it does just fit really nicely right there mr cheese what are you doing so we have this one and this one to still fill i'm thinking sweaters sweatshirts and both here's how she's looking right now let me know what we think i feel like it looks a bit much i don't know how to make it look less though because all the clothes are like out I don't know if these are going to be too heavy, but I'm thinking of putting my sweaters up here. Or like cute long sleeves. If it feels secure, we'll do sweaters. If it starts drooping, we're doing something else. 
I'm putting my overalls in the last little section. Good morning vlog! My camera keeps saying I need to switch the battery, but look at the closet behind me. It looks so good! I have no clue if this is a good angle at all, but this is such a fun angle to vlog at, like with my closet behind me. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm about to head out for a Pilates class, and I'm gonna meet up with Jacob for lunch, and hopefully, Hopefully by the time I get home, the rugs will be here. That's the only other thing that like needs to go in this room and then this room can be completely finished. I do think I want to put like some sort of vanity or desk in here at some point, but I just, I don't know. I need to move on. I need to work on organizing other spaces. And I also need to save some money for a second. This wasn't even that expensive. It was less than like $400, but I really want to get a new couch and get a new bed. And there's just so many things, so not really worried about a desk right now. Anyway, when I get back from Pilates later, we're gonna set up the rug. Hopefully it'll be here, clean this room, organize a bit more, complete the closet clean out, closet, closet DIY. Not the closet clean out yet because we need to start that still. My other closet is still full of clothes. My dresser's still full of clothes. It's all kind of a mess and crazy, so I want to do a little clean out when I get back. Anyway, here's the little Pilates hairstyle. I haven't done this one in a while. I think it's so cute. I do look a little bald though, because I'm very blonde. Here's the little outfit for Pilates. It sets from TikTok shop. I have it in two colors already, because I love it. It's like $12. Maybe I'll link, I'll link a video down below where it's tagged in that video on TikTok, because I don't know how to link just like the link. So cute, I love it. I'm back from Pilates and lunch and running errands and I'm pretty sure the rugs are here. I'm gonna go down and grab the package. We'll open it up. I'm very nervous. How could this be two full rugs? Like, hopefully it's not a lot smaller than I thought. I measured it out. Try not to cut it. Okay, this might just be one rug. Maybe the other one's coming still and they'll be here later today. But this one's mine, so we can set it up. Here's how big it is. It's actually pretty big. I'm gonna like hang it over the door right now and we gotta clean this room first because I've somehow made it messy over the course of setting it up, which does not surprise me. I'm a very messy person. I laid down the rug. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. It takes up like most of the room. So I just changed because I'm gonna start filming some TikTok soon, but like look at this rug. It is so fuzzy. I'm just gonna have to have all the TikTok shop stuff linked below. I'll link below all the stuff that it took to like build this whole closet, but it's done, guys. Like that's so crazy. I love, 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 love the rug. There's a little walkthrough of what the closet looks like. We got the sweaters, skirts, down below are my little boots and overalls, sunnies, bags, dresses right here. I think that this basket's gonna be for work and I'm gonna keep it there. My little sneakers, jeans, hat, boots, PR bookshelf, and then this one is activewear. And then this one is going to be stuff that's on my vintage and work stuff. Also added my little vision board up there, which I think turned out so cute. It's like perfect right there. I backed up as far as I could so that we could see the whole closet, the rug, and then the mirrors over here, which makes it so that when I'm standing in the mirror, the background is the closet. Like, that is amazing. That's perfect. I love it so much. I'm gonna definitely have to do some more organizing and decluttering today, maybe later today. I do have a lot of work to get to right now, so I'll chat with you later. I think my plan for the closet is to just take everything out and then kind of go through it and organize how I want things to be in there. Shouldn't take that long because it is, like, just a regular size closet, not, like, fancy big closet or anything. And... There's not like a ton of stuff in here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking too of maybe putting the litter box in the closet, but then I would have to keep the closet like partially open every day. But I feel like that's a good spot for it compared to like where it is now. Oh, also it's the next day. I have some things that I want to list unvented, like these boots. Really need to list things today. This dress is broken, but I don't really want to get rid of it. I think there may be a way I can fix it, so I'm gonna put it back in my bedroom closet. Some clothes in here for my family that I want to like send to them at some point. And then these are like more wintry, actually what is that, tank top? Little tank top and then some like wintery pieces but i have room in my other closet now so i might as well put them back in the bedroom i actually think i want to put all of the stuff that's going to be on minted in here so that i can keep my clothing rack for just work stuff
bag is totally full. It's stuff that needs to go to Goodwill. So I'll take that out of here. This is so random, but if you have an iPhone 13, DM me on Instagram and I'll send you some phone cases because this is crazy. I have so many phone cases, all for 13s, and I'm not using any of them because I have a 15 now. So let me know. I need to get rid of these. Otherwise, I could just donate them, I guess. This is some nail stuff, bubble gun, dresses that need to be donated. Moving on. Here I have my onesies. It's made dresses and random dresses. I don't know if it's actually a good idea to put the letterbox in here because then this has to be open and like all this is up there. So I think I'm just going to leave this side as it is. The bottom, I just have all my nail stuff right there and then little organizer with craft stuff. So this side is good. The bedroom closet, which I know the lighting's terrible, just needs a bit of reorganizing. I'm just going to keep all the little similar things together and rearrange where the hangers are, like the extra hangers. All right, I didn't film much because I'm running out of space on this SD card, but I think I'm going to end the video here. That closet's clean out, this closet's clean out, and my whole walk-in closet is made. I'm so excited about this. I'm so happy. I'll have everything linked down below if you want to recreate this walk-in closet. It just turned out so good, and I'm so happy. Anyway, make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked this video, and I'll see you very soon.